It's just a change of culture, and that's always going to be changing. But our, our Western culture is all, is because it has no roots in divine law now. It's right. always changing. It's always going further from the truth. It's always changing. So, uh, ten years ago, you couldn't marry. You couldn't marry another man. Now you can marry a mother. Not in Jewish law. Divine law says you can't marry a man. But man-made law, five minutes ago in Europe, says just yesterday. Oh, you can now. And, and in ten years' time, the, the West may say you can marry your sister, your biological sister, because if you love her, what's the problem? Well, God says you can't. It says that in the Jewish Bible. It says that in the Sharia. In twenty years' time. Society may say, you can marry your cat. You love your cat. It's a beautiful cat. Why can't you marry? You love your cat. Why can't you marry your cat? I'm sorry, the divine law says bestiality is, is haram. Ah, oh, but the West is superior. And gosh, it's a human right to marry your cat. No, it's not. Rights don't have any existence apart from God and his will, in my view. So this is where we're at, always changing our views in the West, all the time. And we're expecting you as a Jew... And exactly. The divine law, the halakha, the sharia doesn't change. Because it comes from God, and God doesn't change. And God is always perfect. But the West, unfortunately, has lost that. And so it's always inventing right and wrong all the time and changing it. Every nation that goes farther from when the truth was given becomes less and less holy and becomes further from the truth. Yeah, you're talking like a Muslim. Talking like a Jew. They're very, very similar in many ways. As long as we don't talk about, as long as we don't talk about politics, Israel, we're brothers. Palestine. We're brothers. <laughs> the second you do that, I've got 20 guys coming to push me like this. And you know what? I had half an hour debate. When, which guy was it? I don't know. But like, we agreed on everything. We agreed on everything. And then you've got these religious extremists that come and start pushing me. They don't know my views on Zionism. And then they're ready judging me based on that. Which I think is very wrong. But that was the previous debate. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that, that, that's very sad. Sure. Because for 90% for, for of, of Islamic history, Jews and Muslims have got on very well, and Jews have flourished in Muslim countries. I'm pleased to say it's only, oh, we won't go into this, relatively recently, for reasons we're not going to go into, that things have become very, very toxic. But it didn't used to be like that. It used to be very different. And the problem was Christians. Christians persecuted Jews in Europe, obviously, uh, as, they, as they did with Muslims as well. Yeah, for centuries. In fact, right back to. Countries, and you gave us. We gave us a safe place, right? Yeah. So um, attack, right? this bad blood is very recent and very tragic, and I wish it wasn't so. So recent. I don't think it's a debate on, on history, but there were certain points. So of course. No, there were. There were bad. You're right. There, it wasn't all roses all the time. Most of the time it was fine, but there were times when it wasn't. Right. You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. So better. That. Almost always better, I believe, from my knowledge. Maybe I'm not correct. Than the Christian countries that we always came to, and you always got us the same place. Yeah. You can argue the jizya, and I know all that. I'm also. I'll leave that for the other guys, but you're right. You're right. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so well, peace is broken out. What's your, what's your name, by the way? Jacob. Oh, I'm nice Paul. To nice to meet you, Jacob. Salam. Plus, I can take these off now. I didn't ask him to put on in the first place.